YouTube, it's your boy Randy with another travel video. Thought I'd start by showing you guys Times Square in New York City. A city where I grew up, especially one of my favorite spots growing up. Sit back, kick back, and we literally in for a ride. I mean literally. Square will be the liveliest or lit literally destinations of all of New York. At exactly three minutes before midnight, Times Square becomes a huge outdoor gallery. All the ads turn into an art and sing together. It's called the Midnight Moment. It's the world's largest and longest running digital public art programs and it has been going on since 2012, presenting a new Midnight Moment each month. So imagine all the electricity buzz in a decade. Disney store in Times Square is like a Florida away from Florida. That store is all that in a bag of chips. I wouldn't spend too much money there. But it's definitely worth the check out. Man, these 3D billboards are the new era. They make everything vibrant to a whole nother level. This is where the ball drops. I posted a short of the 2022 New Year's ball drop. It's up close if you guys want to check that out. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. Being in that moment is just extravagant. You just have to experience it. Now let's take a walk. If you are a chocolate fanatic, they got an m and M World New York store, a Max Brenner, and a Hershey Chocolate World across the street, all in the same vicinity. Cause nothing screams I want diabetes right now in Times Square is than these spots. Well hello Glenn. When you guys visit Times Square so many street artists are on Broadway. Different unique variations of their arts, spray paintings, pictures, canvases. Rest in peace to Sidney Blue Sailor. If you guys don't know of him, 
I'll leave his name in the description. Make sure you guys check his music out. He was murdered in an ambush on May 29th, 2022. Not too long ago. His legacy will live on forever. This has to be the heart of Times Square, 42nd Street and Broadway. Growing up in high school, we would come to a McDonald's that used to be here. Just cut class and take the train straight to Mickey D's. Gotta remember, fast food was cheap. That's all we can afford back then. Now McDonald's had a Broadway theater theme to it with a thousand marquee light bulbs. I'm sure if you were a teen growing up in the early 2010s, you've probably seen it. 42nd Street is just a vibe on its own. Stephen Cobra records his show on 54th and Broadway, right on top of Angelo's Pizza. Some good pizza in Times Square. This is, in fact, the Ed Sullivan Theater. David Letterman used to run the streets back in the days until he decided to hang it up. Stephen Polly in there sleeping right now. Jimmy Fallon, Late Night Show with Jimmy. The NBC Studios is a six minute drive away from Stephen Colbert, his nemesis. A little friendly ratings rivalry between them, but Jimmy Fallon's backyard is Rockefeller Plaza, so Jimmy won, Stephen zero. This is the very spot where the Christmas tree will be located come December. Rockefeller is only a few blocks away from Times Square. I can hear Mariah Carey's Christmas song a mile away when I see this place. During Christmas, they're gonna start playing her song at every Target, every Walmart, you already know. showing you guys more and more other wonders of the world little by little if you haven't already make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on content so here's the thing if you love the hustle and bustle if you love the light if you love the swagger if you like the foot traffic or if it's just you like traffic traffic Make sure you leave a like and comment on what's your favorite Times Square getaway.